That means another episode of Dave Campbell's Texas Football tonight. Let's take a look and reveal the spotlight games for week six. A reminder, you can stream this show for free on TexanLive.com or right here on YouTube. We simulcast it to both um, every single Friday night from 7.30 to 10. Um, let's yeah. get right into it. So let's go. First Starting th off Thursday night. Were you going to say something? No, I just said first spotlight game. Yeah, there we go. A Thursday night, tonight. How about this one? Cy Fair taking on Jersey Village, the top two teams in District 17 6A. And if you're into quarterbacks, this is a matchup for you. Cy Fair quarterback Trey Owens has looked outstanding. Jersey Village quarterback Adam Tran has looked very good. You can expect this one to probably be pointsy. I think it's going to come down to whose defense can stop them. But that one happening tonight on Dave Campbell's Texan Live, I believe. Let me pull up the schedule here. I believe that Tom Vinay is on the call for that one, and that is correct. So uh, 6.30 p.m. Pridgen Stadium. You can watch it on TexanLive.com or catch all the highlights tomorrow on Dave Campbell's Texas Football tonight. The other Thursday night game that we will be highlighting – Eric Folkert's on the call for this one down at Legacy Stadium in Katy, Texas. 7.15 p.m. tonight. The uh, race for the wild district that is 19-6A continues here. Katy Taylor, the Mustangs taking on the Falcons of Katy Tompkins. And we're starting to get into the point, especially in this district. There's a couple other ones across the state where – yeah, you focus on the top teams, but if you take a step back and you look at the teams that are really starting to fight for what we believe will be the third and fourth place spot in their district, meaning that, hey, we want to make it to the playoffs, so here's what we're doing. I think this is a prime example of what this game is. Uh, both of these teams have looked good at times and have also not looked great at others. Tompkins has been a really weird team this year. They have beat people they probably shouldn't have, and they have fallen to people they probably shouldn't have. That loss in week four against uh, Katie Cinco Ranch looked really bad for them. So interested to see where Todd McVay can get this team going. Uh, meanwhile, Katie Taylor could make it 3-0 and in district play and really solidify themselves as, uh, as one of the teams that could secure one of those playoff spots. We'll talk about the other two playoff spots in a minute because it's another one of our games. But but moving on into Friday night, we stay down in the Houston area. This one, a battle in District 16 6A, which is another one of those districts that you got to look all across those top four spots. Cy Springs, the Panthers, 4 and 0 for the first time in program history. They're going to try and continue on that streak, taking on the Cy Ranch Mustangs 3-1 and on the year 1-0 and in district play from down there at Cy Fair FCU Stadium. Chris Elliott will be on the call and joining us. That one kicks off at 7. Um, not only, real fast, are they 4-0 and for the first time in program history, but this is big because Cy Springs hasn't made the playoffs in over 20 years. Mm-hmm. So this is this is a real good test to see how far this Cy Springs team could go. Well, and I feel like you only when you look down in that district too, you talk about Cy Fair a lot, but it's refreshing to see that a lot of these teams are also contenders this year as well. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that one should be a very, very sneakily good game there on Texan Live. Moving on now, staying still in the Houston area, let's bounce over to District 14 6A as Spring to Caney, the Wildcats, three and one on the year, one and zero in district play, taking on the Mustangs of Spring Westfield. Um, De Caney. Off to obviously a very hot start after advancing to the regional semifinals last year. Coach actually said before the season he thinks that this is the most impressive team that they've had since their state title run in 2011. So oh, wow. not necessarily coming out from under the radar perhaps from DeCaney, but I think if you start to look from a statewide perspective, that might shock a couple of people. On the other side of that, Matt Meekins is going to try and pick up his Mustang squad again. Two and two on the year, um, really got handed to him by North Shore, and then lost a close one to Hightower, but 
That being said, if Westfield wants to get back up to the point where they're really in that statewide talks, they're going to need, this is the exact type of game that they have got to go out there and win. So that one should be fun out from beautiful Planet Ford Stadium in spring. Sean Bajani will be on the call and joining us at halftime of that one. Let's stick in the Houston area because I mentioned it. 19 a is just fun right now. And it seems like for so many years, it's been that team right there. They're Gary Joseph and his eighth ranked Katie Tigers just completely leading the way and then letting everybody else figure it out. Allow me to introduce you to number 25, a state ranked Katie Jordan. The Warriors ranked for their first time in program history. Now, this is the newest school down in the uh, Katie School District. Katie even Jordan. More impressive, honestly. Oh, yeah. Katie Jordan, 4 and 0. Mm hmm. This is a battle, and it's it's funny because Katie is four and one. When's the last time that we've seen Katie play someone in their own district who was undefeated and they had a loss on the season? Right. Yeah. So this game will answer a lot of those questions that everybody's asking about District Nineteen Six A. That'll this will really be kind of the okay. Is Jordan for real? Because the other thing that they're going into it when at this point in the year have you seen Katie have a loss on their? Mm -hmm. record you you right. don't that never happens so they know that they are beatable can Katie Jordan do the unthinkable and take down the big bad beast that is Katie very interested to see how that goes off uh Michael Silvers on the call for that one at 715 at Legacy Stadium moving on now let's go out east the number one ranked Tyler Chapel Hill Bulldogs out of 4A Division I in District 9 there, taking on their district foe in the Palestine Wildcats from Wildcat Stadium in Palestine, Texas. Brett Sweeney and his guys will be on the call at 7.30. Um, it's been the Demetrius Brisbane show for Chapel Hill. Can Palestine's defense match up to the absolute threat that Brisbane has been on the ball? We will find out with you. Moving now into the DFW area, I know there is one person on our staff who is quite excited that this game is on Texan Live. That's Coppell alum Greg Tepper, who has made it publicly known that if Coppell wins this game, he will do Texas football today on Monday in his Coppell Letterman's jacket from what I can only assume are the Dark Ages because he's so old. But... How about this? Louisville taking on Coppell at Buddy Eccles Field. Grayson Nolette and Cody Barfnick on the call there, 7 o'clock p.m. I don't necessarily want to get completely ahead of myself, but I very well think that this could be the game that decides the District 6 6A title. Yeah. at the end of the season and it's crazy we're already getting it but this one should be just a ton of fun um Louisville does have a pair of Vernon Ellis and they're running back and they're uh leading their defense is Jaden Hardy you'll hear Powers if you watch the show tomorrow night talk a lot about him and what he brings to the table in the Cruden corner talking about the top 10 defensive backs but this one is a tasty one up here in the greater DFW area we round it all out now by heading back down 35 and let's make a pit stop in Austin because this one might be going under your radar dripping springs the 24th ranked team in a 6a um, looking to continue their success as they take on district foe the Buda Johnson Jaguars and this is just another one of those games that the reason this game is important is because of playoffs when you think about 26-6A, there's two glaringly obvious teams as to who traditionally is leading that pack, Westlake and Lake Travis. They played last week. Westlake got the win. They're looking the part of being the district favorite, but where does Dripping Springs fall in that? And more importantly, where does Buta Johnson fall in that? 3-2 and two on the year, 2-1 and one in a district, so off to a good start. But we'll find out um, down there in Buta, Texas from Shelton Stadium. A.J. Aravalo will be joining us from that 7.30 p.m. kick and very interested to see what he thinks about these two teams and where their playoff hope lies mm -hmm. specifically after this matchup. So there you go. There are our spotlight games from Dave Campbell's Texas football tonight. We hope that you will join us for free tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. to 10. Nick Laupius and Ishmael Johnson will be on the desk watching, reacting, and having a good time. We hope you will come join us. And I do want to say real fast, 
this is the largest bye week of the year, the largest off week of the year. There's only 517 games being played, which sounds like a lot. It is, but over a third of the state is off this week. If your team is off, and you are not traveling and you're going to stay at home and you're looking for some football to watch or some other teams to get into, Dave Campbell's Texas Football Tonight is the place to be because it'll be a bunch of teams that you might not be familiar with. You'll get instant reactions. We're diving into games. We're listening to the calls. We're bouncing around NFL Red Zone style for you guys. So if you've If you haven't given Texas football tonight a chance, do it this week when all of your teams are off and see if you like it. Yeah, also it's free too, and you can easily pull it up on your cell phone, your iPad, whatever. Like it's very, very easy to access. Yeah, so we are pumped up and hope that you will join us tomorrow night.